Hi class, welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the standard form of the equation for a hyperbola given its vertices and the equation of the asymptote. Okay, so example number one, find the standard form of the equation for a hyperbola with vertices at negative 6, 0 and 6, 0. And the equation of the asymptote is, it, is y equals 4x over 3. So first guys, uh, pwede nyo munang i-plot yung ating vertices. So we have negative 6, 0. Ito yan. Then 6, 0. So ito yung ating second vertex. So as you can see guys, na yung vertices natin forms a horizontal line. So ito yung ating transverse axis. So, since horizontal yung ating transverse axis, meaning yung ating hyperbola opens horizontally. Right? So, it follows the equation x square over a square minus y square over b square equals 1. Tama? So, ang problem na lang natin is paano natin makukuha si a and b. Okay? So, alam naman natin guys na ang midpoint ng ating um, vertices, dito natin makikita yung ating center. Okay? Then, from the center going to the vertex, yan naman yung value ng ating A. So, this time, pwede nyo bilangin yung distance between C and D. Uh, nung isang vertex. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, meaning, ang A natin is equal to 6. Tama? So, ang kulang na lang natin is yung ating B. Okay? So, using the equation of the asymptote, which is Y equals 4X over 3, so, kung tandaan nyo guys yung equation o yung formula ng ating asymptote, pagka ang ating hyperbola is open horizontally, so, pwede yung compare ngayon to. No? So, ang, ang equation ng ating asymptote is y equals b over a x. Tama? So, pwede nating i-equate yung ating 4 over 3 kay b over a. Okay? Then, ang value ng ating A is equal to 6. So, pwede natin i-substitute yan, guys, dito sa ating uh, formula. So, we have 4 over 3 equals B over A, which is 6, yung value ng ating A. Then, by cross-multiplication, we have 4 times 6, this is 24. Then, 3 times B, that is 3B. Then, divide both side by 3 to solve for B. So, ang B natin this time is equal to positive 8. Okay, so kung meron na tayong value ng A and B, pwede na natin makuha yung ating standard form. Which is equal to x square over A, which is 6, then square, minus y square over B, that is 8, square equals 1. So, ang standard form ng ating hyperbola is equal to x square over 36 minus y square over 64 equals 1. Ayan. Nakuha ba guys? So, let's have example number 2. Find the standard form of the equation for a hyperbola with vertices um, 0, 4, and 0, negative 4, and asymptote y equals 2x over 3. Okay, so again, first step natin, plot natin yung ating vertices. We have 0, 4, and 0, negative 4. So, as you can see, guys, na yung ating transverse axis is vertical. So, meaning, yung ating hyperbola opens vertically. So, it follows the equation y square over a square minus x square over 
b square equals 1. Okay, so since uh, vertical yung ating hyperbola, yung x ang ating magiging negative. Okay? So next is, kunin naman natin yung value ng ating a and b para makuha natin yung standard form ng ating equation. So again, ang a natin is the distance between the center and the vertex. So ang center natin is makikita dun sa midpoint ng ating transverse axis. So yung distance between the vertex and the center, yan yung ating a. So pag binilang nyo yan guys, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So ang a natin is equal to 4. Okay? So that is a equals 4. So, ang nawawala na lang natin is yung B. So, applying the equation of the asymptote, we have Y equals 2X over 3. So, kung ang ating um, hyperbola opens vertically, ang, ang asymptote natin is may equation na A over B X. Okay, so as you can see na yung 2 thirds dito corresponds to A over B. So, pwede natin i-equate yan. Then, since ang value ng A natin is equal to 4, so substitute natin to guys, we have 2 thirds equals 4 over B. Then, by cross multiplication, we have 2B equals 12. Then, divide both side by 2. So, ang B natin is equal to 6. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na natin makuha yung ating standard form. So, y square over a square, which is 4 square minus x square over b, that is 6 square equals 1. So, ang standard form natin ngayon is we have y square over 16 minus x square over 36 equals 1. So, ito na ngayon, guys, yung ating magiging final answer. Ako ba, guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo, guys. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you, guys, for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!